BLS interventions are often not afforded the importance they deserve. Consider this scenario and the implications of poorly implemented BLS care. Ugh. Ow. Whew. What hurt? Ugh. I hurt my ankle falling off that ladder. Oh, wow. It really hurts. It looks like it hurts. Let me take your pulse. Can I, can I get the, the boot? Where'd you fall from? Right from the top. Oh, from the top, huh? Oh, okay. It's hurting a lot. Mm. Yeah, it's gonna hurt. But when we get you in the ambulance, we're probably gonna give you something for pain. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Ah, that hurts. It's gonna hurt a lot, okay? I'm, I'm not gonna that lie. Um, I want you to make sure that you do Exactly what I tell you to do, okay? Okay. Ow! Oh, I'm sorry. All right, so you're going to use your good leg, okay? Ow! And you're going to come up here, okay? Ready? One, two. Ah! Okay? Oh, the structure's way over there. you got to hop over there. Ah! Okay, race it, it down. Ow! We'll get you out to the ambulance. You have any allergies? No. Take any medicine? No. No? Hmm. When did you fall? 20 minutes ago. Okay. Does anything else hurt? Just my ankle hmm. right now. A lot. Okay. We're going to get you out to the ambulance now, okay? Ready? Down. One, two, three. Oh. Oh. No, nope, don't go up. One, two, three. Oh. All right, out the ambulance we go. Implications of poor care can have tremendous downstream consequences. What do you got? Lower leg fracture, mechanical fall. Are her vital signs stable? Yep. Let's put her in a wheelchair and put her in the waiting room and we'll get her information later. Hi, Stacy. Good evening. Um, actually, it's Mary. Um, sorry, it's uh, been one of those days. We've had three traumas, uh, cardiac arrest, uh, busy day. Um, so how's the pain? It looks like they took the splint off. It's worse than ever before. It's really hurting still. Okay. Your legs normally this cold? No. Okay. Can't feel a pulse. Can I get a Doppler? <sighs> Seems ischemic. Mary has an ischemic limb that has gone unrecognized for hours. This is something that should have been identified in the first few moments of the call. Now, Mary risks losing her limb. This is to say nothing of the other unrecognized injuries she may have suffered. A primary and secondary survey for every trauma patient helps avoid the pitfalls of missed injuries. If you don't consider the possible threats to life and limb, you are unlikely to recognize these injuries. Consider a standardized approach to the trauma patient. It is important to practice any clinical assessment tool prior to deploying it in pre-hospital practice. Some frameworks that are widely implemented include XABCDE as well as MARCH. XABCDE, exsanguination, airway, breathing, circulation, disability, environment, exposure. MARCH, massive hemorrhage, airway control, respiratory support, circulation, hypothermia. I'm David, this is Fran. So Mary, when you fell, did you hit your head or anything? No, no, I just felt badly on my leg.
Okay, just kind of move it. Okay. It looks like I have to put a little padding in. Can you wiggle that toe for me? Okay, good. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to get the stretcher really close to you. Okay, and we're going to use your good leg to rise up, okay? And all this time, my partner, Fran, is going to hold your leg in stabilization, okay? Okay. Okay, Mary, I'm just going to come in underneath you, okay? We're going to use your good leg. Okay. Are you ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to bring your bottom over just a little bit. Can I put a pillow underneath your Yes, your please. Legs? Okay, just raise it up just a little bit. How's that? That's better. Better? Okay. One, two, three. Proper field assessment could help to exclude other significant injuries and identify an ischemic limb. Take care to properly immobilize the fracture. Shards of fractured bone are like knives slicing through the tissue. They can stimulate pain receptors with the slightest movement. These sharp bone edges, if not properly immobilized, can cause or exacerbate bleeding or even lacerate large vessels. Pain medication may still be required, but basic interventions should be first in achieving adequate control of pain. If the ischemia is thought to be due to angulation, an attempt at straightening the extremity to restore blood flow could be performed in the field. Even if unsuccessful, identifying limb ischemia early and communicating this to the hospital would allow assignment of a proper triage priority and room. Calling ahead by the BLS crew enables your hospital colleagues to adequately prepare for the incoming patient. The techniques described in this video are included to spark discussion, not as authoritative practice directives. Consider the benefits and limitations of each technique and discuss with your colleagues and medical director. The content is intended as an educational resource only and not intended to supersede any state, regional, or local guidelines, protocols, policies, medical direction, or any other authority.